New at five, the woman accused of being behind the wheel of a deadly crash that killed four moms in 2018 was back in a Lake County courtroom. The judge accepting her plea deal, sending her to jail for four years. Investigators said Heather Finley caused the crash as she was driving under the influence along State Road 50 in Mascot. News 6's Catherine Silver was in the courtroom today. Catherine, the family not happy about this decision at all from the judge. That's right. The courtroom was filled with the family and friends of the four mothers who were killed. All of them were under 30 years old. Their loved ones say while today's hearing may bring some sense of closure, it does not bring any justice. It's been four long excruciating years, four years without my baby. I miss her so much. Jamie Thomas lost her daughter, Tiara, in the deadly crash in 2018, showing this picture of her to a packed courtroom Thursday. I want you all to see <coughs> this beautiful young lady. She hopes to put a name and face to her pain and the loss three other families also feel. Her baby boy's second birthday, 20 days after she was killed. Imagine trying to plan a funeral and a birthday party for her son at the same time. Four women were killed in the crash in Mascot in 2018. Prosecutors say Heather Finley was going nearly double the speed limit and was under the influence. So sorry, and I know me saying sorry doesn't mean anything. Finley visibly emotional after pleading guilty to four counts of vehicular homicide. There's not a day that goes by that I don't think about them and their families. Those families speaking passionately about Finley's sentence, saying it's not enough. Today, we're sitting here listening to a plea bargain where she signed to do 48 months in DOC, which is one year for each life that she took. So if that's the value of a black life today, then I can't understand what the world is coming to. Markers left at the crash site stand in memory of the four lives lost. Tierra Chambers, Rosalind Felton, Cambria Smith, and Shaquilla Smith. Their loved ones say they had hopes and dreams, graduation plans, and engagements. The last time I saw my daughter, she had a smile on her face. My grandson will never know the touch of his mother, the warmth of her breath, the smile, anything. Now, Finley was immediately placed in handcuffs. Her sentence includes six years of probation, and she must pay $200,000 in restitution. I'm live in Lake County. Catherine Silver, Getting Results, News 6.